This is one of the most powerful projects I've ever been involved with. I'm hearing all kinds of gunshots down the street from my house. I had never known Bakersfield to be a violent place. That changed pretty quickly. I came here looking for something. I knew the homicide rate in Bakersfield was high. I didn't really know what that meant until I got here. I'm not trying to be nobody. Two people are dead and a BPD officer is in the hospital following an early morning shooting at a Southwest Bakersfield hotel. My son died in a shootout. F this, I'm calling the cops on the cops. Walk the streets, Bakersfield. The deadliest law enforcement in the country per capita. <laughs> highest rate of officer-involved deaths anywhere in the country. This is where the story takes a very bizarre turn. And as you start unraveling the layers, you start to see that there's more than just a couple bad officers. He had collected drugs and then sold for his own gain. I was wrong, and I admit that today. One side, a celebrated character in a movie, and then a disgraced officer. I began to not only bend the rules, I began to cross the line. How many of you listen and judge me? You don't have to experience what I experienced to really understand that there's a problem here. The man is dead. These cops have no reason to do this to this man. They're not supposed to be judge, jury, and executioner. You don't know me, but you don't me. I never thought in my wildest dream that it was my son laying there in the side of a murder. My brother was an amazing person. He was so full of life. He had amazing kids. And sorry. Police department killed my dad. They shot my son seven times. <laughs> well, who holds these people accountable? Guess what? They met their match. As you walk the streets, Bakers.